back in with Tati, who is out with the queue line today. And what's <laughs> going on out there? Looks like you have the benefit of some very nice weather, finally. Where's your train? Yeah, the train is coming right now. It's beautiful out here. I'm still at the campus, Marsha stop, and I just want to show you a couple things that you guys can check out while you're here. We've got Avalon Bakery right there. Calexico, the Mexican restaurant. There's CVS. Campus Marshes is a block away. You can get your shop on right down the street on Woodward. We've got the Nike store, Under Armour. Um, we've got um, the wine store, Hudson Cafe. There's so much, but you know what? Guess what? Our train is here, so we're about to get on. Isn't this exciting? Have either of you guys been down here yet? No, I've not been on it yet. Come on. Take us with you. Okay, well, I'm going to bring you guys. We should bring. We should do another one of our field trips and come and get on the queue line together because it's really, really cool. And I think it should be fun to do as a team. But right now, I want to bring in, let's wait for the noise, I want to bring in Dan Lejana, and he is the communications officer with the M1 Rail. Good morning. So, good morning. Thank you for Remember joining me. Remember to hold on. Hold, hold on. on. Officially a strap hanger yes, now right. in Detroit as well. So let me ask you this. What is the difference between the M1 rail and the Q line? We hear both of those sure, terms sure, sure. used interchangeably. So M1 rail is the owner and the operator of the Q line. The Q line is the name of the car. Okay. So you ride the Q line. So we ride the Q line. That's right. So this is fun. It's going to be like meet me at the Q at Campus Marshes. That's I'm right. into it. So let's talk about some of the technology that, that's associated with the Q line. There's a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Like I mentioned, there's an app for that, right? Yeah. So uh, one of the things is while you're on the car, you can uh, jump on the wireless system. If you uh, check on your phone, it's called Q Line Detroit for the wireless connection, and that's available at the stations too. At the stations, uh, we also have the app, and you can see the screen. I think later we'll stop and see the screen, but because you can buy your tickets on the app. You can buy your tickets. You can see when the when the next train is when you're at the station. Uh, couple, you know what? How many minutes away it is? You can see the Twitter feed, what's going on, and any kind of rider <laughs> alerts we've got going on with what's happening on the system. No, that's always cool because Twitter is definitely cool because people could always say, hey. The train is packed on this, this station or whatever. Give other user f information to other people at other stops, right? That's right. And it was packed this weekend. It was packed this weekend. The excitement was absolutely infectious. Don't you agree? Oh, I, I rode several times over the weekend, and the car was packed to capacity. Standing room, uh, you know, people all crushed right. up against each other the whole time. Right. And the other good thing is, doesn't the app show you the wait time so you know when the next train is showing up? The the next edition of it will. We're a couple okay. days away from that, but uh, but it will. Very, very soon okay. you'll be able to see on the app. You can see on the website uh, if you're in your office and you're trying to figure out when to grab it to go get lunch. Right. Uh, you'll be able to see what time the car is arriving and the closest station to you. That's very cool, very cool. So let's talk about rides being free all week. Yeah. Why did you guys decide that? Uh, for a couple reasons. You know, we announced it on Friday. Uh, everyone was sort of, sort of so excited that they kind of missed it. But one of the reasons was, uh, you know, we want to work out any service kinks, right? Everybody wants to ride the full route right now. Mm -hmm. So the cars are really packed. So we want to give everybody a chance to get on, experience it, ride it for free, see what it's like. Right. And get used to it. And then also there's a Tigers, there's a Tiger Series home this week, so we anticipate the ridership is going to be pretty high. Absolutely. So we want to make sure we've got everything running before we start to charge people. Absolutely. That sounds good. And I mean, I wanted to get on this weekend, but every train stop was so packed. I was like, this isn't going to happen. I'm going to be out here all day. And that was really, really great to see. Yeah, the weather was nice. You know, we couldn't have ha asked for a better weekend on that front. And uh, people were really enthusiastic. I rode several times Friday, and I, while I was on the car, I was talking to everybody. I saw people coming and going from work, people on their way to happy hour, people with their grandkids, people right. with their wheelchairs, which is uh, actually the seating right there, you know, a little bit of everything. Yeah, that's very cool. And I think that Mother's Day played a huge role in that as well, because all I saw was families, and there was a couple bands down at Campus Marshes by the beach, right? Yeah, it was crazy. That, you know, there wasn't actually any, uh, there was no games, no concerts this weekend, but downtown was still packed, and we think the opening of the queue line had a lot to do with that, and the promotions that the businesses were running along the route. Um, you know, in the cultural activities. So it was a really great weekend. Yeah, this is very cool. So we just went from the Campus Marshes stop, and now we are at... We're at Grand Circus. Grand Circus. Grand Circus. Yep. There you go. You're, yeah, very cool. All right, so we're headed over to Foxtown. Hey, guys, it's really, really cool out here. I can't wait for us to come and check it out together. I'm going to send it to you guys back in the studio, and we'll see you guys in a little bit.
What are the odds that on a random car to pick you up, the guy for the communications department from the queue line would be on the train? Dan, I bet this is so wild. Isn't that crazy? And he knows to keep hanging it's on. Crazy. I have that kind of luck. <laughs> we'll see yes, you in a minute. I'm hanging on too. <laughs> okay, guys. Carmen's voice. Isn't that great? Very uh, soothing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, still ahead, 